Have you ever wondered what is the most used command in your terminal? So, for me and probably for 99% of, of you watching this video, such command is cd. And what if I tell you that there is a better version of such command? Yeah, you understood me correctly. A better version of a daily use command. Probably this is the first command you have ever used when opening a shell for the first time. So there is a better version of it. If I made you curious, watch the video until the end to see how to install this tool correctly and how can you do the same that I'm gonna show you in your terminal today. Uh, do you use any other tool other than the regular CD to navigate your uh, file system? If so, please let me know in the comment section below. So if this is the first time on my channel, my name is Mauricio and I'm a software engineer. Here you can find tutorials and videos about software engineering, command line tools. And now let's come back to our video about a better CD command. So let's, um, let's switch to the terminal. All right, let's have a look at my own statistics. What are the most used commands in my terminal? To do so, I can use uh, we can run a simple command, which is a combination of awk, sort, and unique in order to see what are the most used command. So let's uh, see this command in order. First of all, we need awk to print the first record in the list. AW, AWK print $1, ZSH history is gonna give us the first section of the ZSH, so the command without the arguments. Next, we want to sort those by name. Then we want to uh, to count how many unique occurrences there are, and then finally sort them numerically. And uh, we can run it. All right. So the most used command in my terminal is cd with 156 uh, entries. The next one uh, by far is git with 142 and then uh, third in the list is .NET. Since, I, since I'm a .NET developer, it, I think will make sense. So the tool I'm presenting to you is a better CD, it's a better version of CD and it's named Zoxide. So actually every time you see CD, I'm actually using Zoxide in my system. Now you can be wondering how can something be a better CD? What else can the CD command do in order to be a better tool? So let's have a look at this. If I go to my terminal and I type CD followed by a space, then I type YT, which is a particle I use in my YouTube related material, followed by another space, and then I press this tab key, you're gonna see that there is a list of matching items. And currently, I am just in my home directory. However, with this tool, I can immediately jump into folders that are deep into my file system. All of this with just a few keystrokes and without having to press tab completion many times. So how is this possible? Well, this is possible because I have been using Zoxide for a while. And as I said, I have replaced the regular CD command with it. In fact, I can actually show you now how to do it. So if I actually show you the result of doing which CD, you are going to see not what you expect. Are you ready? So let's do which CD and press enter. All right. So the CD function has got replaced by this function that calls Zoxide and here takes this dollar at symbol which basically means every argument that passed to this cd function is also going to be passed to this z oxide um, double underscore function now why do i have this alias well let's do one thing at a time and let's have a look at this one later because i do not want to open too many side discussions and I'm going to show you why I set up this way and how to alias it properly. Okay. So now let's come back to the, to the main thing. How does Zoxide knows that when I type YT, I want to go inside 
when I do yt zerxine nodes that I want to cd into those directories. Well, in nodes, because every time I enter into a cd, zerxide is going to record where I went and it's gonna know how many times it wants to update the, the internal database. A record also score, so as you can see uh, for this item, if I type just yt, this folder has a weight of 52, this folder has a weight of 40, and then this one that I haven't accessed in a long time has a weight of 1.2. So now if I work, for example, in a particular project for a while, or even a sub subdirector of a project for a while, then such subdirectory is gonna get a high weight. Therefore, I can actually CD into that subdirectory really, really quickly and with a few keystrokes. And I find this one really amazing. Now, some of the video, some of the viewers of this video might also think that there are other tools or methods that will give me a similar effect. And such tools are um, auto jump, Zid, and others. However, among all of the ones that I had the opportunity to try, Zoxide I believe to be the best one I could find. On top of that, if you've been using AutoJump, Zid and other plugins that offer similar functionalities, you can actually import their database into Zoxide so that you don't lose any of the history you have already accumulated in those tools. Now let's have a look at how to install. I think if you're watching the video at this point, you might be tempted to give Zoxide a try. What we want to do are actually two things. We want to install it in our system and also integrate it with our command line of choice. The nice thing is that Zoxide can be installed into all the main operating system and shells. It works on Linux, macOS, Windows, BSD, you can even install it in your Android phone. Yeah, you can have Zoxide running uh, into your Android phone. For me, I'm on a Mac, on a Mac and I use Homebrew. Uh, therefore, I can install it by doing brew install uh, Zoxide. Of course, I need to do it because it's already installed. Um, for any other uh, operating system or even on Mac OS, there are many more installation methods that are supported. The next thing we want to do, once you have the tool installed in your system, is to add it to our shell. And which shells are supported, you are wondering? Well, all of the ones that I know of, that I have heard of, they are supported. They are Bash, Elvish, Fish, NuShell, PowerShell, XonSH, ZSH, and in general, any POSIX shell is actually supported. Now, I won't give you any detailed instruction on uh, how to install it for such for each shell that is possible, available, or operating system, because it's probably beside the point of this presentation uh, and will make the video quite boring. So let's have a look at the one I'm using, which is Des uh, ZSH, and how we can do the alias in the way that I'm showing you. I did not type manually this CD brackets, uh, Zoxide, etc. So inside my ZSHRC, if I do but what I put inside my ZSH is this command eval zoxide init dash dash cmd ZSH. Now, some tutorials would end up in here, maybe not even give you this bit, but I want to go one step further. Many people, I've seen them giving you um, suggestions such as alias cd equal Z, uh, Z oxide, which is absolutely not the way to go. Uh, let's have a deeper look into the Z oxide init command. We can run Z oxide init help, um, or we can even have a look at the GitHub repo of the page, and we can have a look at the configuration flags that we can use. One in particular is the CMD option, which changes the prefix of Z and ZI commands, which the default is Z. Now, the option double dash command cd is that is going is the one that actually is going to replace your cd command, which is why the result of my cd command is this one, and that's why my zoxide init has this has this flag double double dash cmd cd. Um, all right, now that we are all 
solder into using uh, Zoxide. Let's have a look at what else we can do with it. Uh, note that, of course, by now you know that every time I write CD in my terminal, I'm actually using Zoxide. So let's type y, um, CD YT and then press enter. It's going to essentially enter into the directory, which is the highest ranked matching uh, the YT string. If I do CD next and then YT, it's going to CD into the highest uh, directory matching next and YT. As you can see, uh, I now jumped in a directory. If I do, uh, I can just use it like regular, so I can do CD, just the regular CD command, CD dot files slash bin, which just takes me uh, exactly the same way as the cd command will behave. Actually, I can do this with just dot dot because it's another alias I've set up. Now, let's go back to the yt and let's have a look where I am. Now, let's say I want to go back inside uh, uh, where I was previously. All I have to do cd dash and it's going to just take me back to where I was before. Now, the command I have started the video with, so cd yt and then uh, matching uh, items what is actually happening this one is only works with bash fish and zsh anyway that's all i had to say about uh, uh, this tool about zoxide and if you're still watching this video i want to say a huge thank you for watching it until uh, the end now if you're interested in software development tooling uh, please have a look at other videos in my channel uh, because I think you can find some very nice videos. Also, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. A huge thank you for watching uh, uh, this video and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.